And it was a great performance. Thank you. Obviously, you know, I think you probably felt confident when it went to the judges' scorecards, but did you feel you'd won the fight? Yeah, I, I thought I won the fight, but of course, decision. It was, you know, it always, I've watched fights every Saturday for hours, and, you know, every fight card, you see a decision that you're kind of like, what? So, you know, I, there always is that little part of you that's a little nervous, but um, I was confident. I felt like I won. There's actually a couple of fights earlier before yours where there was, like, some crazy scorecards. I was wondering if you'd seen any of those and if that was playing on your minds at all. No, I didn't, I, I didn't see that, but like I said, I'm a huge fan, and I watch every fight, so I see it a lot. I think the, the story of this fight is probably that she kind of gassed after the submission attempt. Did you feel that when you got up, you, you got on her right away? Did you feel that she kind of gassed herself out going for the game? Uh, absolutely. I saw it in her face, and um, I knew that going into the fight. Um, all her, I watch all her film. All her fights, she always gets gassed. Um, even when she's dominant um, and other people aren't doing anything to her, she still gets gassed. So when I saw that, like my eyes lit up because I'm... Like, cardio is not ever going to be an issue for me. So, um, you know, I just kept telling myself in sparring, I'm like, all right, first, first minute, she's like a bully. She tries to come out, but she fades every time. And I know I can go as hard as I can and recover. We, we spar and we only ever do 30-second break. So a minute sometimes, I'm like, all right, now sh this is an advantage for them to recover. So, um, yeah, I knew my cardio was going to be a huge factor in this fight. There was something of a suggestion on the broadcast. They played a couple of replays that maybe you tapped in the submission. What submission? Uh, I believe the guillotine. No, you have to have your hands locked for her. She had her like a headlock because she doesn't really know so good jiu-jitsu. On, on, on the broadcast, they showed a replay of you. I think you're reaching for your other hand and it sort of looked like you kind of tapped it. They did walk it back. They said, oh, we're not sure. <laughs> yeah, no, you have to have a submission to get a tap. Yeah, just, so no. just wanted to check. But yeah, definitely yeah. not. <laughs> okay, cool. And the other question I wanted to ask you is um, a bit of a question about social media. <laughs> um, usually most of us keep our preferences to ourselves, but on uh, a social media account linked to you, it's been very uh, vocal about some preferences. Have you been hacked or is uh, you just, you're just flaunting out there? So, <laughs> what? I like what I like. No, I'm just kidding. Who could blame you? <laughs> no, no. I, um, my Twitter got like hacked like two months ago, or I just thought like I lost my password. I tried to get in the app and I couldn't get in. That's why I, during every fight card, I'm always like tweeting. My tweets are always popping up. And every Saturday I'd be like, oh, my Twitter's still like, I can't, I didn't get in. And I just kind of never paid attention to it. My Twitter's for years has always gets hacked. Um, but usually it just follows a bunch of porn stars. But um, this time, I guess, this has been going on for months and I didn't realize till this week, but uh, I think with the fight and the promotions of the fight, people started noticing, um, I think whoever's in my Twitter account, maybe, I don't know, maybe they're in a relationship and they needed to go into my account to look at other things, but it was not me. And all week I've been trying to get in, but I was uh, focusing on my fight, not my Twitter. I just don't understand why they have to like it. You can just watch it. <laughs> yeah, like it. yeah, but um, it's out there, so if anyone wants some, some extra free content, you can go to my Twitter. Thank you, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. <laughs> uh, Catelyn, a lot was also made on uh, the strength of Vivian. Maybe she like, hits hard or is powerful or anything like that. Did you have any sense of her strength compared to your, your past opponents at all? Um, no, I felt like several of my other opponents were a lot stronger. Um, sometimes I think people confuse like the show, you know, she looks Jack, she's, you know, and everything, but that type of body frame isn't tep uh, typically good for MMA. That's why I think she gets gassed a lot. You know, the muscles look good, but they don't do a lot of good. And then when you were on the, the canvas, you said, you, I think I heard you at the beginning of this press, maybe she doesn't know enough about jujitsu or something like that. If, when you did get on the canvas, did you just sense like, oh, I'm more than okay. Well, bottom half guard is probably one of my best positions. And, you know, it was funny because I worked a lot on that. Um, uh, I've been training a lot of jujitsu this camp at Matt Sarah's and working with Jason Rao. And every Friday we drill for an hour. And I was thinking, I'm like, oh my God, he's watching. Like, are you kidding me? This is the position we've been working on. And, uh, but I think it's hard because my, my striking style is so like fast and crazy and uh, going all this. And then once you hit the ground, like, you know, sometimes it's hard to get a transition into jujitsu, and me and my teammate Sajara were kind of talking about that. She's great at jujitsu and understands that. And I heard her in my, in my corner saying, "Just calm down, calm down. You know, just relax. You'll get out. It's like." And then, you know, that really pissed me off the day down. So when I got up, I was like, "All right, let's go." And then when I, when I uh, hit her off the clinch, I, I could see I was like, "All right, this is going downhill for her." 
And finally, uh, when do you want to get back in there? I know you pretty much are down to fight anyone, but any specific names you have in mind? You, you did say you were in a kind of a weird position uh, at the media day. Yeah, I've been in this division since it opened, and I, I beat number three, four. Now the record holder for most wins. Oh, there we go. <laughs> um, I beat number three, four, five, six, and seven. So, you know, obviously I'll fight anyone, but uh, I, the one girl I think that's in the top ten that I haven't fought is Alexa Grasso. Um, everyone talks about how good her boxing is, and when I watch that, I get a little chip on my shoulder, and I'm like, all right, let's, you know, I think I have the best boxing in the division, so uh, that fight interests me just because I haven't fought her yet, so, uh, but I'll fight anyone. I don't care.